I mean, really, you just have to talk about the goat for a minute. Ah, and the other ones bleat back at it. Ah. Oh, shut up. Yeah, good crispy bits. I'm, I've got a thought. Pickles. Sure gave me the shivers. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Ah. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us under the library. We are an actual play podcast. We're playing Call of Cthulhu, sort of, and uh, we're doing it live without scripts or narrative editing. We're building our story together in the moment. If you like our show and would care to support what we are doing, head over to underthelibrary.com slash support. Or if you'd like some cool nerdy shirts, you can find our merch at underthelibrary.com slash store. My name's Arthur. I am playing Buddy. Once again, we are sans Emily and Wayne. So that means that I am joined with Scott as Johnny, Rick as Sam, and as always, our keeper is Michael. Michael, the show is yours. Thanks, Art. Under the Library is a horror tabletop role-playing game set in the Call of Cthulhu universe with horror and other unsettling imagery. Not safe for Scott is your signal. The following information will be graphic. If you're concerned, skip ahead, but stick with us because we feature mature themes played by immature people. So if blueberries, pineapple, and tuna fish sound like a good setup for a taste test, you're in the right place. And with that, I'll move forward to my own recap from last episode. Um, we all took turns watching names. And then uh, the trio uh, geared up and headed after town. They met a very esoteric man named Steve, but possibly playing Jaker outside the horse corrals and then loaded up and headed out. Not much happened except Sam found a goat and the trio is now walking west with a goat, and they've just met a man who claims that goat is his. Although it should probably mention that Buddy saw something to the north. With that, let's play a game. Smoke. Tell a story. We're Smoke. riding, not walking. Riding. Yes. Yes, we are riding. You are riding. Don't, don't take this horse away from me, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big dog, remember? That's, that's what keeps Johnny on it. <laughs> All right, so dude said, uh, that's my goat. Yeah. Y'all got my goat. Uh, what, it, you have one goat and it was lost? Is that why you're out here? Are you looking for your goat? Well, I got lots of goats. And he he points off behind him and sure enough, you see, well, probably a dozen or so goats milling about all kind of tied together oh so so you lost this one and about that time the goat next to sam go bleats out and the other ones bleat back at it see i told you that's my goat the other ones sound like all right everybody together Now this, uh, okay. Now this is going to win good us content. A, uh, Audi Award or whatever they're called. So, <laughs> did 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 you lose this one, or are there other ones out there wandering around too? No, I'm, it must have got separated. I uh, forgot to count tonight, but uh, at there's Freddy. If you just want to, and he 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 kind of gets up and he. He shambles up and walks real slow over toward y'all. And uh, he says, he looks up at you, Sam, says, you don't mind if I take him out of your rope here, right? I, and I uh, punch him in the throat. No, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, <laughs> and I get my rope out and I lasso. No, so I say... Uh, no, I got a goat and a man. <laughs> I got a goat and a man. That's Saturday night. And I say... Uh, <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> you know what I call that? I call that heads or tails. And so I'll... <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on. Once again, subtle versus overt. 
<laughs> I say, I said, yeah, of course. This is your goat. I'm not gonna take a a, a shepherd away from his flock. I'm a ranch hand myself. <laughs> I'm, gonna say, I'm not gonna take away a man's goat. <laughs> I really thought that's I, th- I thought I, I, I've, been, I was... I've been lonely too. I know what it's like. That's okay. Take your goat back. I'll find another <laughs> companion. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I I was about to say that. And so I say, uh, say that's what I say. And uh, hand, hand up the goat over. Right. Might be appreciative for y'all uh, returning my goat. And and the goat so, just follows him back. He just kind of walks. Uh, as he's walking, and... I'll be like, "So, just to, let me ask you a quick question: Are you are you part of the show? Are you part of the the new Bloodstone?" And he raises his eyebrows. Theatricality, or are you just a guy with a bunch of goats in the middle of the desert? Oh, you mean the. The the funny folks down that away. Yeah, you got it. The new bloodstone. He, ba- he points back toward New Bloodstone. Hell no! And, and I, I point and I'm like, yeah, that way out west. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, hell no. No. So what? What do you? I could. I guess I can hear it in your voice. But what do you think about that place? We we went there to visit, not knowing what it was. Turns out it's a. It's like a Disney World for weird Wild West stuff. I don't know who Disney World is, but <laughs> I don't know what goes on in that, but not for this guy. And we're in the 40s. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what goes on in that town, but it's funny business, I tell you. And me and my goats, we, we stay out of there. I yeah. just, it's just this guy in his goats in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like those conspiracy theorists. Me and my goats are together. So, um, what's what's your name, sir? Uh, Edwin. What's yours? Oh, name's Sam. And uh, seems like you've got yourself a lovely flock here and some special uh, 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 here in the herd. Uh, I lost a. Uh, I lost her- my own. herd. Heard, Sam. <laughs> or, 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 These ain't or, or. geese; they're goats. I lost. I lost w- my what's own. What's so funny? I lost my own ball and chain out here. Her name's Cheryl. Have you seen her walking around out here? Lovely little lass. You name a ball and chain, <laughs> so to speak. There, Edwin. Uh, wait, Sam. You think she's walking around by herself? Isn't she with I was a bunch of other people? So I don't. Awkward. I don't know. I'm not asking this right. <laughs> no. I, so wait, let me. Tell you, I'm sorry. Y'all my friend's, drunk? My friend's a little bit distraught. He, so we're part of the new Bloodstone. Oh, whatever God. the hell that place is. I know it's terrible. The place is terrible. His wife went off camping, and he hasn't seen her since. And we're trying to find her. That's why we came to your fire. We're looking for the people from New Bloodstone that are out camping. So I'm wondering, can you help us find them? Have you seen them? Do you do you do you know where their campsite typically is set up? We asked the guy with the horses, and he was a little bit less than useless. Man, I tell you, you folk that come out of that village just get stranger and stranger all the time. The guy with the horses. So, Mister, I, I think I think the question is. Um, have you seen anyone out here camping? Oh, you mean the wagon train that they run out of there? Yeah, that that would be it. Oh, y'all head back and then head north a ways. You cut up between the uh, the two pillars there, and uh, you should be able to pick up the tracks there. So wh- why did he send us out west then? He said that they typically go out west. He sent he's... us basically right to this site. No, no, no. You're still west of the city, but they they cut up north occasionally. And uh, last I saw them, that's that's where they were headed. Okay, th- thank you very much. And what was your I... name? Edwin. 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 All right. Th- Edwin. Thank you. Edwin. Hey, you, Sam. You remember what the name? What was your name? My my name's Buddy, sir. Yeah, and I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you there, Edwin. 
Nice to meet you. I got I got one question for you, Edwin. Um, do you do you ever have to leave a goat out? Oh boy. I, I think he did leave a goat and out. He looks at you. And he stares at you long and hard, Sam, to see if you're how do you react as he stares at you? I look at him back, just square in the eyes, and then I just look up to the sky and then back down at him. And he puts a rope around the neck of the goat and walks it back over to you. And he says, maybe you should just put this back where you found it for me. Damn. Oh, damn. Out here, too. Huh. <laughs> I'm going to lean over to Buddy and be like, do you know what the hell is going on? Do they, uh, you ever, you ever wake up with dreams, Edwin? Unusual dreams? Or find yourself out in the middle of nowhere? Fire's like flickering. It's flickering in his face and his demeanor changes. And he says, I think I gave y'all the information you need. We shouldn't be talking no more. Well, that that was weird. All right, Edwin. All right, Edwin. And I and I tip my hat and I say, uh, I know, I know. Then I'll take the goat. Wait, we're taking the goat. We're gonna take the goat back. We don't need the goat. What the hell was the goat's name again? <laughs> Fuck. Man. Reg Reginald? Randy? No, Randy. Oh my god. Timmy. Freddy. Freddy. No, it's Timmy. Timmy the goat. It's Freddy. It's Freddy the goat. All right. So I say, come on now, Freddy. We got to get yourself back out to the pasture. And I look back as I turn the horse around and tip my hat towards it. He tips I... it back to you. He goes sitting back by the fire and he's he's got a little pot of something that he's kind of nibbling on as he's sitting there. Goat stew. Right. Maybe. Um, all right. So um, as we're heading out, I'm going to say, guys, do, do you think that that, that north, northward place is where we saw the, the vulture circling? It may very well be. I hope not. I hope not, buddy. But that... Yeah, that gonna, I, yep. Sam's going to... Uh, Sam. Um, Johnny's going to be like, Sam, what, what what just happened? I think I missed a key detail here, and it seems pretty relevant because some stranger just gave you a goat in the middle of the dark. So can you please fill me in as to what just happened? Well, I'm just but a messenger there, uh, Johnny. Uh, you're from that FBI, I said... You should know all about them the occurrences that happened over there in uh Roswell. Well, you think the guy's leaving goats out as a sacrifice to space aliens? I don't know. He's leaving them out for something. I I, I all I know is I gotta do the same with my cattle. You gotta leave a goat out with your cattle? No, I gotta leave a cattle out outside of my cattle. I gotta take a cattle out of my I gotta take a cow outside of my cattle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I think you, you totally nailed I think you that. You got your plurals wrong. <laughs> Is that, that a, a flock so of cattle? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so a you, murder of cattle. Just, so just, a single cattle, just one cattle. Sam, just to be clear, do you, you leave a cow out, or you cow, almost said cattle, didn't you? <laughs> if you leave a cow out for a, as a sacrifice. I leave it out for whoever. It, yeah, I mean. Does it there's get a, taken? There's a toll to pay if you're out in these parts, out in the wilderness, the wild. You're trying to make a living. Uh, there's parts unseen. You're talking about like wolves? Uh, I, I hope it would be wolves, but uh, I haven't seen no paw prints. And uh, wolves don't turn animals downright inside out. You ever see an animal's intestines flopping around outside with his heart? beaten yeah but only at the butchers yeah but i mean inside out like you just reached your hand right inside that animal 
and grabbed it by its innards and pulled it inside out like a baggie. No, that's this. What, what the hell is wrong with you? Why would well, you do that to your cow? No. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I milk them. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I no, of that's course, true. that's not that's not what I do. That's what. And I look up and I just say, I, I don't know what it is, but uh, you don't want to make anything angry. That's all I know. I say, I, I don't fear much. I face death many a times. It's just my third bullet. In many that I've caught with this uh, primordial body of mine. All right, but... so, Keeper, I've got a connection. <laughs> word, my primordial you, body. You, word, person. You just say word, every word cedar, that comes to your head. Firework. There's there's lamp, <laughs> testicle, dreamscape, <laughs> mystical, good. shadow Armadillo, front. Rhinoceros. Lamp trunk shade. head. People. <laughs> so um, I, I have a connection Fireproof. that I made. Sorry. Do I have to roll for okay. my character to have made it? Because I just, I'm, I've got a thought. And it's yeah, make an intelligence roll. You've got and, a thought? And, uh, you can still, you can put the thought out there yeah. and we'll see how confirmed it gets. Yeah, I gotcha. Okay. Second. Second. And I'm clicking. Pickles. I'm clicking pickles. I got it. A regular success. All right. But let's hear your so, thought. So I'm saying, look, I, I, maybe it's nothing. Maybe I'm just, you know, I, I, I'm in the business of putting stuff together, right? That's what we got to do with the FBI. And there's some things that this place has in common with your farm, Sam. One of them is there's an army base not far, by, not far away. And there's a connection between them that we sort of know about. In both of them, there's a history of stuff going on that we don't know if it's on the up and up. That's what brought us out, right? That's what brought uh, brought the FBI their attention here. So is there any chance that whatever's bugging your areas may be bugging over here too? And it's actually connected to that army base that's not that far from here? I mean, reading Edwin's reaction to my very... Uh, uh, nuanced questions. I think the answer would be quite possibly. Sure gave me the shivers. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> so I'm going to look at Buddy and I'm going to be like, Buddy, I mean, you know, you're the guy from the army here. There's, I, I'm making a leap. I, I own it. I don't have any evidence to support it. But, you know, in this business, when you got two things that seem like they could be a coincidence, you got to at least take it a little bit seriously that maybe there's something related to the army base. Would Buddy have heard any reports of um, uh, livestock mutilation from, you know, yeah, around the base? Yeah, let's see. Uh, mm, let's see. That would have been... Uh, give me give me an edu roll, Buddy, and you can make it an advantage. Okay. And this will buy me time to figure out what exactly... Yeah, there's a success. All right, and I, buddy, your knowledge of there wouldn't have been any mutilation, right? Uh, there certainly would have been some experimentation with animals, uh, but that mm. would have been on the base, okay, uh, and not right with using using animals. Uh, that you you know possibly in cages or in other means, but mm -hmm. nothing that you had seen that was just for the sake of mutilating, so okay. to speak. Yeah, I mean there there were certainly the experiments going on with animals on the base, but I I never heard anything about about like livestock disappearing or people leaving cows out or goats out or certainly nothing about animals turning inside out. Yeah, it's you know, like I said, it's it's just supposition at this point. I think we just got to keep our eyes open. Um, I mean, not for nothing, but that stupid story they're telling about the the beast of Bloodstone or whatever. What it? What if there's some kind of thing and they saw it and they didn't know what they were seeing, so they just made up a story about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like it just it just seems like it's worth paying attention to because I, I trust Sam. He's he's a little crazy, but he's an honest guy and he's telling us. That he's got a story about something, and then some guy in the middle of nowhere 
seems to corroborate it or at least get so scared when Sam brings something up that he gives him a goat. So I just, I, I definitely think it's something we got to pay attention to. Yeah, that part was weird. Yeah. Um, All right, I think, so you guys with the compass in the back direction. Back heading, heading north now? Yeah, you guys with the compass. Do, do we just, still see the the vultures? Right. Well, I, so are y'all headed back? So, we so would, the directions he gave you, would you, you would have to head back to town, towards town, yep. and about halfway between where you are, then there there was kind of a break in the in the plateau mm -hmm. uh, a couple of like rock columns that you would walk through mm -hmm. um there there's that and then there's the goat mm -hmm. um the goat you'd have to go back just a little bit further to essentially put it where you got it so i don't know what y'all want to do um i say we head to the crossroads point and leave it there that seems close enough what do y'all think? Neck tube for Rick tube. <laughs> <laughs> it's close enough. It's in the vicinity. It's probably fine. Sure. Are we going to tie the goat up so we can get it when we come back or just let it wander? I might slap. I might point it in the direction it was supposed to be and just give it a good slap on the ass and have it prance around now in that direction. All right. All right. And so as as you do the the moon, really, it's right out now it's pretty high up in the sky we're probably close to midnight if not after yeah. midnight and uh the goat kind of wanders in the general direction and in front of you are probably some 60 to 70 foot high cliffs is a strong word but kind of rock bluffs that you're gonna walk between to get into the next area and so I just kind of want to have this cinematic look moment, maybe a wide shot as you and your horses are, and you know, are slightly wearily going through these rock through the kill box. And, yeah. Can I can yeah. I do one thing before we've left the the goat? Just when we sent the goat off. No. Sure. Sure. Um, could I have tied like a lantern to it? <laughs> Or a light source of some sort, a flashlight, just something oh, that would have. Yeah, because that wouldn't be hot. Staple at all. a candle to it. <laughs> we gonna tie like a, a burning lantern. Can I douse it in diesel and set it on fire and just see if it's still on flames? What was wrong with you? <laughs> but you know what I mean. No, I, no, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't begin to little guess. kerosene lantern. <laughs> no, I just, know, just a, a flashlight, just something that'll give off some light. Um, if that makes sense. No, <laughs> nope, doesn't make sense at all, dude. <laughs> no, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, all right, no! give, me a, give me a no. I get where you're going. Give me a luck roll first. Uh, I mean, I'm just <laughs> so good. Spontaneous just... goat combustion on this episode <laughs> of Under the Library. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Reading the dice with Rick, the IT guy. <laughs> Wait, it was a 20 and a 10, but I guess the 10 is a. If it's a 20 and a 10, you're using the wrong dice, dude. <laughs> no, I think you are. I'm using. I'm using. Oh, okay. <laughs> and a ten. So good. <laughs> One of the dice it should be single digits. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just I know it's a, we changed the rule set this week and <laughs> yeah, it's confusing. It I was confusing. using a certain virtual program and anyways. All right, so sixty one and mine's sixty four. So uh I, I made it. Okay. Okay. Uh so twenty and a ten is sixty four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that you can tie to the goat if you want to. I mean, I guess could I? Yeah, all right, fuck it. I'll do that. My other thought was tying the rope to a rock and then midway, then like from that, tying it to a lantern. That makes sense. So the r rope would be tied to the rock. If the goat was going to try and pull on it, it would move the rock, not the lantern, which would be like a separate knot Are you later on. trying to catch yeah. Roadrunner? <laughs> he's or... he's building like... a Rube Goldberg device in yeah, the desert. Say... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the, the goat's tied to the rock, tied to the lantern? Yes. Because I... Here's the thing. I no, want to Where's the flashlight come in? 
I want to it, up. It's at no. I I wanted to be up on the plateau and like to turn and look to see if I could see this light, you know, out in the desert while we're walking up to see is the goat still there. You you're not going saying? up the plateau. You're going through the plateau. Yeah, like you're you're going. Okay, so I wouldn't be able just to tie see. the goat and then come back and see if it's still there when we come back. I mean, I guess that's the easy thing. I think for me, it would have been really amusing to turn around and just see like the light going up into the sky. <laughs> uh, so, so you're fine. rooting for the goat to get eaten? No, no. I just thought it'd be a pretty neat cinematic moment for everybody. But you know, <laughs> I, no, this was much better. Trust me, <laughs> this was much better. Five minutes of of oh, fuck negotiation it. I don't, just... of how to tie a light to a goat. <laughs> I, I do that. I do what I said. I do. I do goat to rock, rock to lantern. <laughs> okay, I do not understand what the hell you're, you've got in your head. <laughs> I'm not getting this at all. <clears throat> all right, so we'll go back to the the keeper's cut scene here of y'all traveling <laughs> through the two rock columns uh, with a goat. <laughs> tied to a rock tied to a lantern off to the side and uh the goat uh bleating at you as you walk through the rocks just sort of meh meh and my three uh, uh, my two weary travelers and my one visionary visionary Lampshade has got to mute through. himself because he is laughing so hard. Uh, if you're well, listening audio Scott. only, you should look up the YouTube channel um, under the library on YouTube just to see Scott absolutely broken right now. <laughs> <He's> just, <laughs> I feel like we might need to take a break just right. so, so Scott, Scott can, can collect cover. himself. It's really funny. Okay, anyway, it's a beautiful moment. All right. Walking right into the kill box. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, contrary to what's going on with us, it's kind of an eerie moment, right? As you leave the goat in the background, uh, rock walls are pretty narrow. You've probably got 10 to 12 feet across uh, as you, and as your horses walk through, you get a little bit more echo of their hoofs. Uh, as you as you walk through but it's not uh terribly far probably a 40 to 60 foot walk with the horses through this and then you'll kind of open up into another set of plane or another kind of open area of pasture i should say um, as we're going through i'm going to look up and see if there's any uh, you know i'm looking for movement up above us yeah it's just uh make a spot hidden be a great place for you to roll a 98 oh fuck oh <laughs> you haven't man. had one so, in a while i know i have in and <laughs> my my um my uh, single digits dice was a nine that was the first thing i saw Gosh. um but the other one's a 10 so uh we're doing good oh 19 yeah. yeah you you look up and you just see a whole lot of stars it's a pretty cloudless night cool and uh seems pretty calm uh, through the ridges. All right. Um, and and you, no, uh, it opens up. No vultures off in the distance? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, shit. And you're getting. Okay. Yeah, you're getting closer at this point uh, as there, uh, there seems to be a, a slight range of, we won't call them mountains, but large hills off in the distance and the vultures appear to be on the other side of that. I was going to say, oh, so wow, can we estimate right. the distance? Uh, Is it a mile from us? Half a mile from us? I, I Sam's probably going to be the only one. Well, I, I guess you can get, give it a shot. Uh, make a... a wow. But, but this would be like a natural world or some sort of survival role. What mm. do you got there, Johnny? Mm. Actually, Buddy's pretty good with natural world. Okay. Go for it, Buddy. Oh, all right. No, I don't. I mean, I I, uh, I have low on both. I'm oh, not, yeah. I'm you know, that is an ex... Oh, uh, no, a hard success. 
Okay. So, I mean, you're looking off in the distance and you're thinking probably, you know, can't be more than a, than a mile or two. Um, okay. Okay. So, so one of the things I'm going to say is like, uh, so guys, it looks like we're, we're, we're coming up and, and we're getting close and, I I admit I don't know a lot about this. Sam, you're probably going to know more. But if there's vultures, there's probably other predators, right? Well, if there's vultures, there's probably something dead. Probably yeah, I know there's dead. something dead, but that's what I'm saying. So, you know, I, I bet there's a lot of stuff out here. So I think we got to be a little bit extra careful. I'm going to operate on the assumption that there's something up ahead that if it's dead, I hope it's not, but that if there's other predators, we got to be ready for that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I've got my, I have my uh, rifle at the ready and uh, keeping a keen eye out is uh, pick up the pace just a little bit so we can make our way towards these vultures uh, a, a, a bit, bit yep. faster. And mm -hmm. I've got my gun out and it's just sort of resting as I'm going. And, and as y'all keep going, kind of guns out, uh, and then it, you make your way, the, you, you come kind of in to the opening and then you make your way a little further around a a rock out jut out jut this out is cropping yeah thank you i'm I got out breaking and <laughs> uh and there's a there's a campfire and a wagon and it's probably not more than two or three hundred yards away on the right hmm. interesting okay. i mean i'd start to damn near gallop over there wow all right good thing you so he'll be ahead of get... me at least i'm not i'm gonna keep at the same pace yep and i'm looking so i'm scanning around and i've got my light so um i'm sort of scanning around and i'm looking for if there's you know again any any animal that i'm seeing any movement any people like any anything i'm just looking all around everything as you get closer, Sam, you realize that there's a bunch of people in sleeping bags around the campfire. I mean, we're close to like what one in the morning mm -hmm. at this point. Everybody's asleep. I'm Sam galloping it to the middle <laughs> of a peaceful campsite. Share? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, out. Rachel. When I, when, I, <laughs> when I when I notice that there's people there. Um, and it looks like they're, you know, appropriately bundled up. Uh, do I see the vultures uh, like around the site? No, the vultures are in For a totally the... different direction. Totally different. Okay, right? You're headed, you're headed like back east and the vultures were kind of north. Northerly. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So I'll slow up a bit so I don't just trample into them and uh, make my way, you know, into that area. I definitely don't want to trample into them. That'd be terrible. Yep. Yeah. A, a trample's a terrible thing to yep. do. Yep. And uh, it, as you get closer, right, uh, you, you realize it's a campsite and everybody's sleeping. And uh, you do hear you do hear a clicking from the wagon as you get closer and realize that you're probably there's somebody paying attention to you approaching. Oh. Then I I stop and uh, oh. you know put my hand up. Right, good choice. Okay, and uh, see a figure get down out of the wagon, and he's walking up, uh, and kind of whisper shouts, "Who goes there?" It's Sam. Who is that? Who the hell are you, Sam? I, I'm Sam. Just a really quick question. How far ahead of us is he? <laughs> well, he galloped, and I don't know what y'all decided to do. Yeah, I was still walking. Uh, yeah, we were still walking the horses. So, yeah, so uh, probably, you know, yeah, 50, so. 50, 100 feet. Yeah, okay. something oh, like so that. Oh, so not even a minute. Like, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Yeah, because it was only two, 300 feet. Yeah. Yards. Oh, yards. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, yeah, but so, that's yeah. fine. Probably 100 feet's fine. Okay. It's not like that. Fine. So I, I just, the main point is that Sam will go for a little bit, and then we'll come yes. walking up. Uh, I, and he, Sam, just state your business. 
I, I'm looking for a my my wife. Your your wife? My wife. I I ain't got no wives over here. These are all dudes that I'm on, took on a camp out from New Bloodstone. And there's no. They're all dudes. They're all dudes. Nope. No, no chicks. I mean, no, no women. Oh, no, no. no. Uh, where, where are you from, Sam? Uh, I'm just down, down. I'm visiting in New Bloodstone myself, and uh, came oh, on home. You're one of the guests. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm one of the well, guests. Well, you should have, you should have said that. You gave me a start. Why don't you uh, pop down off your horse and? Uh, uh, sat, uh, pull up a sleeping bag for the night with us. You can rest here. So well, by, I'm assuming yeah. by now we've come yeah. up. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, uh, I feel like, hey, uh, uh, we're we're guests. Yeah, we're uh, Johnny Dante. I'm just look. We're looking for someone. She she said she came out camping, and it, it, we just saw some other campsite. And there's a bunch of goats. I don't know what the hell's going on. So now we're checking your campsite, and if you don't have, if you don't have her, we got to go to the next campsite because, you know, she's missing, and and we got to find her. Ne next campsite. Are there any other groups out here camping tonight? No, we're the only one. And at this point, y'all see some stirrings over by the fire, right? Like mm -hmm. people are starting to let's go. Out here. <laughs> and there, and there, there are no women in your group. No. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to look over at Sam and be like, Sam, she told you she went camping? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, Randy said that she had gone camping. <laughs> Randy said maybe she's out camping, which is what led to this entire cockamamie <laughs> trip. Yeah. <laughs> It wasn't a maybe. It was pretty certain, right? I mean, yeah. he, she was trying to tell you that that's where she was. Yeah, he said she might. He said he felt like she probably was. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I say. I said. You know of any any killings out here in these parts? Any animals you guys happen to put down? Saw some vultures the other way. Oh, we never, we never had up that way. Uh, you mean out that way? Yeah, out that way. No, goodness, no. This is about as close to city camping as you can get. Oh, well, you all enjoy yourself, so it looks like you're having a mighty little camp out there. Enjoy your wieners and your s'mores. And Well, one second. Hold on one second, Sam. Uh, so Randy, and I I'm assuming Randy is yeah. someone from, Randy said pretty definitively that this woman, Cheryl, his wife, came out camping. And you're saying she's not here. So maybe you can help us understand why he would say that. And you're saying it's not true. Why would he oh. tell us that she came, came camping with you and all of a sudden she's not camping with you? I, I'm i just out here taking care of everybody. You know, we serve a three-course meal plus dessert. I don't know why Randy told you she's out here, but I can tell you. These six guys who signed up for this trip, and that's it. Mm. You're All welcome right. to spend the night. Mm. No, I mean, we got, as far as I'm concerned, we're going to go back and wake Randy if that's what it takes, because if he's sending us on a wild goose chase, you know, we got to find her. Yeah. What's your name, sir? Well, I'm JD. JD, huh? How long have you been working here at the site? Oh, going on about six, seven years now. Oh, you from uh, you from somewhere out west yourself? Yeah, Colorado. Oh, what it brought you out? What, oh, brought sorry, you what brought you out here, JD? Adventure. What brought you out here? Hell, you just told you we're looking for his wife. Yeah, a nearly broken marriage and a troubled son. Uh, but that's <laughs> wow. 
That's great. Oh, uh, uh, that's it. You're getting a hug from Buddy. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> you just let it go, baby. Uh, <laughs> Sam, make a Constitution roll at disadvantage. Hmm, I don't like that. Oh, 34 and 87, uh, okay. which is a, uh, not success. Okay. And uh, at, at this point, Cheryl not being out there and uh, just just kind of the surgery and being shot and it's two in the morning, catches up with Sam and uh, he he collapses on the ground. Oh shit. Yep. All jump right. I'm trying, jumping down jump from down, the horse. And help him. Yep. Help him out. Okay. And, and probably maybe actually we'll, we'll just, we can cut on the collapse to the ground and we'll pick up okay. on the next episode. Sounds good. Whoa. Let's see, it did it again. My music didn't reset. We can't, we can't stop yet. Now we can stop. But I was going to say, damn it, J.D., look at what you did. It's definitely J.D.'s <laughs> fault. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Under the Library. Thank you so much for joining us. Until next time, you can find us at underthelibrary.com. And please do check out our store at underthelibrary.com slash store. We've got shirts with Under the Library and Up Your RPG logos and our exclusive Chaosium Con artwork on four different shirts. Again, that's under the library.com slash store. So for me, for Michael, for Scott and for Rick, and for the still absent Emily and Wayne, thank you very much for joining us. See you next time under the library. Sam gets knocked down, but he gets up again. How we're not like the number one podcast in the world I, is just so far beyond me. This uh, primordial body of mine. Firework. There's there's lamp, <laughs> testicle, <laughs> dreamscape, That's mystical. Good. Rhinoceros. Lampshade. Head. It's Sam. Who is that? Who the hell are you, Sam? I, I'm Sam. Meh. <laughs>